click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, so welcome back to the subject of machine design one. In the last session, we have seen the concepts of finite and infinite life design procedure for reverse loading. In today's session, we are going to start with the numerical based on their design procedure. So let us begin with the first numerical where we have to design for the infinite life and we have to consider the reverse loading also. Students, you can see the problem statement on your screen. It says that a plate of steel with certain grade is hot rolled and normalized. Its procedure is also given the production process. It's undergoing a reverse axial load of 30 kN as shown. So this is the plate given. There's a whole drill of diameter 10 of the plate with 50. The thickness is what uh, we need to find out. Of course, it's mentioned there. We have been given the factor Q is equal to 0.8, which is the notch sensitivity. The reliability of this particular product is expected to be 90%. Factor of safety specified is 2. The factor, the size factor given is 0 0.85. Determine the plate thickness. So we need to find out the plate thickness for all these conditions considering infinite life. So let us proceed with it. The important things are plus minus 30 means the reverse loading with this kind of hole inside. So the thickness is what we are expected to find out of this plate. So let us begin with the theoretical endurance limit. The theoretical endurance limit is given by this particular formula because it is nothing but the ultimate stress divided by FOS. So it becomes 0.5 times this. We know that FOS is 2 and the ultimate strength is 440. So in that case, the theoretical value of your endurance limit becomes 220 Newton per millimeter square. I had with dealing with these factors. Now what we are going to do basically is with the help of theoretical value, we are going to find out the corrected value by considering different factors. The first factor that has been given is 0.67. You can find out this value from PhD data book in the sections of endurance limit for the given category of steel. So these all values are actually valid for steel. Thereafter, we have been given the size factor is 0.85. The factor that considers the reliability, which is 90% in our case, is 0.897. So this value also we can figure out from the PSG data book. The last value is the stress concentration factor KT. We can find out this value based on because we have already worked out certain uh, equations. Uh, we have written down the value directly. But those who are interested, they can find out in this kind of plate with a circular hole. We can find out the ratio D by W is this one. V, w is the width and D is the diameter of the hole. So it becomes 0.2. So for 0.2, referring to the PhD data book, we can find out that stress concentration factor comes out to be 2.51. Now why do we find out stress concentration factor? Is the next level that there is a factor which we need to consider and the equation given is this. So stress concentration factor once put back into this equation, we get it 1 plus the value Q is 0.8 into kt value right now we have found out is 2.51 minus 1 the value comes out to be this but we know that there is a relationship between the fourth factor kd and kf and that's why it becomes somewhere around 4529 so using all these four factors, we can make out the corrected value of the endurance limit, which comes out to be 0.4. After solving this expression, we'll get the value somewhere around 50.9 Newton per millimeter square. So in this case, the endurance limit, the corrected endurance limit comes out to be 50.9 Newton per millimeter square. 
but we know that the amplitude stress is given by the endurance limit by FOS which comes out to be Newton per millimeter square. So here we obtain the amplitude stress that is necessary to define this particular design somehow amplitude stress in this case will be given by the axial load divided by the area of cross section which comes out to be the width we have been given is 50 minus the diameter d is 10 into the thickness value comes out to be Somehow the value we have already figured out and therefore can be equated very easily. After evaluating this expression we can find out thickness is equal to somewhere around 29.47 millimeter. So this is what the exact value, the design value of the plate thickness for considering the infinite life with the given conditions and the material. So this is what the answer that we have obtained. In next session, we will look at another example, another case with the same strategy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.